Air Movement and Control Association, AMCA, recently introduced AMCA Standard 540 that requires large missile impact testing for louver products. The new AMCA standard subsequently has been adopted by the 2012 International Building Code, IBC. In accordance with the American Society of Civil Engineers, ASCE, version 7-10, for certain types of buildings and structures located within the windborne debris region of the hurricane-prone region. The hurricane-prone region is any location along the Gulf of Mexico coast and the Atlantic coast where the basic wind speed is greater than 105 miles per hour for risk category 1 buildings, 115 miles per hour for risk category 2 buildings, or 120 miles per hour for risk category 3 or 4 buildings. We will explain what types of buildings are in those risk categories later in this video. Other areas considered within the hurricane-prone region include Hawaii, Guam, Puerto Rico, American Samoa, and the Virgin Islands. The windborne debris region is any location within the hurricane-prone region where the basic wind speed is 140 miles per hour or 130 miles per hour if within one mile of the coast for risk category 2, 3, or 4 buildings. It is critical that design professionals fully understand what these new standards require when specifying and selecting louver products for the hurricane-prone region. The new AMCA 540 standard for large missile impact is very similar to ASTME 1996, or what Florida refers to as TAS 201. The most significant difference is that the AMCA 540 standard now requires that louvers be tested at two different missile speeds by the manufacturer, depending on the type of building and its location within the hurricane region. Missile Level D is a 9-pound 2x4 traveling at 34 miles per hour. Missile Level E is a 9-pound 2x4 traveling at 55 miles per hour. Determining which one of these tests your louver products may need to conform to, if any, depends entirely on the type of building or structure and where it's located within the hurricane-prone region. This map shows the approximate location of the hurricane-prone region in the southeastern U.S. Risk Category 1 buildings are defined as having low risk to human life in the event of failure. Examples might be barns, pump houses, and grain silos. The 2012 International Building Code does not reference Risk Category 1 buildings as requiring large missile impact testing. Risk Category 2 buildings are defined as those buildings not otherwise defined in Risk Category 1, 3, or 4, and may include office buildings, hotels, and restaurants, for example. The 2012 International Building Code requires that ventilating louvers in Risk Category 2 buildings in these areas and located within 30 feet of grade must meet the requirements of AMCA 540. It is reasonably safe to assume these louvers would, at a minimum, need to comply with the AMCA 540 Missile Level D requirement. Risk Category 3 buildings are those that may have substantial economic impact or mass disruption of day-to-day -day civilian life in the event of failure, or those that are not included in Risk Category 4 that may contain toxic or explosive substances that pose a threat to the public. Risk Category 4 buildings are considered essential facilities where failure would cause substantial hazard to the community. Buildings containing toxic or explosive substances considered a threat to the public or buildings required to maintain the functionality of other risk category 4 structures. Examples may include hospitals, essential response facilities, schools, and stadiums. The 2012 International Building Code requires that ventilating in category 3 and 4 buildings and located within 30 feet of grade shall meet the requirements of AMCA 540 if located within the windborne debris region. Some risk category 3 or 4 buildings or structures may only require AMCA 540 Missile Level D. However, it is reasonably safe to assume that most risk category 3 or 4 buildings or structures and all essential facilities will require AMCA 540 Missile Level E requirements. Design professionals should consult with local building code officials to determine which level of missile testing is required for these types of buildings.
Rest assured that GreenHEC is prepared for the new standards established within the 2012 International Building Code relative to our large missile impact qualified louver products. All GreenHEC Florida Building Code County approved and Miami-Dade qualified louvers have been subjected to and have passed not only the AMCA 540 Missile Level D standard, but also the Accelerated Missile Level E standard required for all essential facilities. This has been a summary and interpretation of how AMCA 540 may affect the specification of louvers in windborne debris and hurricane-prone regions. For complete details, contact your local building code officials. For more information on GreenHEC's industry-leading line of performance louver products, contact your local GreenHEC representative or visit us at www.greenheck.com.